welcome to this video my name is Jacob um, I want to show you um, a profitable ad method how to make profit on a KDP advertising platform when you are advertising I will show you how to get your keywords I will show you how to target so that you can make profit out of your sales there are times where you will sell and then your A cost will be more than the uh, recommended number so make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be uploading my experience and then the new tricks that I use so that it will also help you to grow so that together we can make money on this platform so kindly subscribe uh, this is a new channel I beg you kindly subscribe so that the YouTube will recommend my video to help other authors like you and I so let me show you this is the uh, KDP platform let me go ahead and sign in okay once you sign in uh, my books are below I don't want to show them so once you sign in we are going to choose the title of your book that you are going to run us on so once you get that you are not going to get your keywords so that Amazon will show your book when people search on such keywords so uh, as a beginner let me show you the ways to do that so once you choose your title and then let's assume the title of your book is how to lose weight how to lose weight this is the title of your book so so you are going to use, search for keywords that when people search on Amazon they are going to find people who want to lose weight people who want weight loss books when they search on your on KDP, uh, amazon.com your book will show up and then they, they, they will, for them to buy so I'm, I'm going to show you the method of getting your, your, your keywords so once you choose the title of the book you are going to use a tool called keyword dot io keyword dot io I already have an account that is why you are seeing it that way so we are going to go ahead and it, it will open soon okay so this is it let me log in so once you log in out the title of my book this is just an example so the title uh, of my book is how to lose weight so let so as you see keyword.io is a free keyword research tool that you can use for literally anything so we, we are interested in Amazon as so we are going to look for keywords that people are searching on Amazon relating to our book or the title of your book so they have a, a, a a pro version that you can join but in this case we don't need a pro version the free version is okay so now right now we're not going to head on to Amazon so now as you can see there are the countries are here so we have Amazon US United States Amazon Canada Amazon United Kingdom Australia so this key, this keyword tool when you search here it, it is going to give you the, the, the results of the country you select here so we are going to I want to run my ass on amazon.com that means it, it is going to be based on the US you can also choose to run your ass on amazon.co.uk which means your, your, your ass will be shown to people in the UK you can also choose Australia you can also choose Canada but let's go with the US so that it will be an example so that the next time you want to run your ass you can choose the country that you want to run your ass on and then you can take these same steps and then the results will be the same so I want to search 
so that we'll get the results of how people are searching the keywords people are used searching on amazon i'm targeting people who want to lose weight so i'm going to search use this keyword tool to search for i want to find out the search terms that people who want to lose weight use on amazon so we are going to set on to weight loss let me see for a weight loss weight loss then i'm going to go on click on search once you click on search and then the results has come so we are going to scroll down this way as you can see so these are the set terms of people who want to lose weight some are setting for 30 day yoga for weight loss julian maria that means this is a book of someone so we are not going to target it best diet pills for weight loss women we are not going to type go there so we are going to go for detox for weight loss and belly fat so i'm going to click that we are going to go for detox tea for weight loss and belly fat we are going to select that too we are going to select this select this keyword as you can see diet books for weight loss bestseller we are going to diet drop rapid weight loss liquid so we are going to that means all these people want to those who are searching those who are using all these search terms they want to lose weight so i'm also targeting weight losers so we are going to click on all the relevant keywords relating to your your book or the people you are targeting so as you can see as you can see once that is done i search so i'm also going to search for another keyword fat loss because i'm targeting people who want to lose weight so fat loss or you can also type fat burn i recommend that don't type the set term you just type the keyword that you want so that this keyword tool will recommend the set terms so that you know how people are uh, the, re the relevant keywords people use to search for products relating to your book so as you can see they have fat loss uh, accelerator guide i'm going to click on that book search. okay so you are going to select all the relevant key keywords that are relating to your book that people are searching for so each time you select a keyword here it will automatically be listed here so you are going to pick as many as you can as many as you can that is relating to your book so all these are relating to weight loss weight loss which is the, the uh, relating to the book i sell so i'm going to go ahead and select those all the re relevant keywords so once you get your keywords you click here once you select a keyword here it will be listed here as you will make a mistake you can come and delete it here and it will go away let me try it as you can see it has gone so let me keep on selecting the keyword that i want so once you get these keywords relating to your product we are going to head on to this section click on it you can download the, the these keywords as a file you can import them you can also copy them so we are going to go ahead and copy and then we are going going back to our account so that we can now create an ad for our product remember all the keywords are on my clickboard it is on my clickboard so we are going to go ahead on to marketing once you are on the marketing you click on marketing this uh, the, 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 this page will come out and you are going to come here amazon advertising 
so you are going to this choose a marketplace so you are coming here you come here click on this choose so as i told you earlier on you can determine the market or the country that you want to sell you you want and amazon to advertise your book so amazon.com you can come to amazon.co.uk so when you select this you are going to advertise for people that are in the uk so when people search for the relevant keywords that we selected in uk your book will pop up and then they are going to buy if it is the the, the book the, the, if your title and everything is right for them they will buy it then you are going to france i don't know what the, is in netherlands or the dutch okay this is definitely the german this is germany you are going to if you want to advertise on the, uh, in germany you can select this this is italy if you want to uh, advertise in italy you select it so all these are countries that you can select so i want to uh, we remember here uh, when we were searching for the keywords we left it uh, we search for people who are in us the keywords that they use to search for weight loss product on amazon so when you come to this section make sure you choose amazon.com assuming you choose uh, a country like uh, canada let's go to U uk when you search for a keyword like this you, uh, then you get your keywords here when you come to your advertising page make sure you select amazon.co.uk because when you select any other country you might not get impression because we search for keywords that people are searching for in a particular country so make sure when you come to this section you stick to the same country do not uh, change it so we, we chose Un united states and then that is amazon.com so we are going to go ahead and choose amazon.com then we create a campaign we click on create a, create a campaign once you click on create a campaign a page like this will open here we have sponsors sponsored products sponsored browns we have locked lock screen as so if you are running as for a book do not choose the two of this i've never used it uh, i've never used them before so uh, i honestly don't know how they work so when you uh, as for kdp books you, are, you have to stick to this one so you click on continue click on continue then then you are going to give a name to your campaign let's say i just want to put any name there wait you can put any name there wait you can set the beginning of your the art and the end of the art so I, I, I usually don't put an end to it because i can pause it at any time so you come to this we are going to set a budget so that amazon will not spend uh, all the money in your bank accounts you are going to set a budget a budget the daily budget is the limit that you set for amazon not to exceed so as you set ten dollars so once your your art your art get clicks that amount to ten dollars amazon will pause your art for the next day so you can you you can set the budget uh, the amount that you can afford so i usually recommend five dollars daily so as you can see five dollars daily that is your daily budget you can set it 20 10 and then any amount that you like but i usually set mine at five dollars so now you are coming to this section you have automatic targeting automatic targeting that means you are going to leave 
for Amazon to search for product relating to your book so that when people search for such products your book will pop up Amazon will look for keywords that are relating to the title of your book so that when people search for it it will pop up so I usually sometimes I would use it to find out how it is doing but I have never made a sale on using automatic targeting some people do but I have never made a sale so we are going to go to the normal the manual targeting that is where we have to do our own keyword research and we have done that and then I have copied them onto my uh, clipboard as you can remember when we went when we came here when I copy here it remains on my clipboard so let's go back to and I'll explain something so we have campaign buying strategy campaign buying strategy we have dynamic buys down only this means that when you set a byte let's say you want to set your campaign at two dollars I uh, sorry 20 cents per click and then you, you choose dynamic buys down only it means you are telling Amazon that any when any when customers click on your product they should not exceed the 20 cents that you you, you set for them but when it's below they, they, they can show your ad to them because mostly Amazon knows best so when there are sometimes keywords that abide for such keywords might exceed your byte so Amazon will recommend your product but when you choose this one they can do that they only recommend your products when a cost per click is equal to your byte or is below your byte so you have to understand that so we have dynamic buys up and down that means Amazon will recommend your product to customers exceeding the, the, the byte for for uh, per click let me explain well because let me explain dynamic buys that means Amazon will you will raise your byte by maximum of 100% in real time when your ad may be more likely to convert to a sale and lower your byte when less likely to convert to a sale in simple terms when you choose dynamic byte it means Amazon are in control of your cost per click because they will determine if they find out that a customer is likely to buy your product they are going to increase your buy your cost per click and then they can also decrease your cost per click provided they, are, uh, they know that the customer might not buy your product but on dynamic buys down only they will only recommend your product if the cost per click is equal to your byte or is below your byte but they will never raise it higher so that means when you choose dynamic buys down only Amazon cannot overspend your budget by here Amazon is free to spend your budget the way they want it there's another one to fix buys I've never used this one that means you are going to fix your byte no down and no up Amazon is going to stick to your the amount you did you, you, are, you are willing to provide as the cost per click so let's say you, you put 20 cents the Amazon will, they are going to stick to that it means they are going to remain fixed to that without having to exceed that 20 cents or they are not likely not to go below that 20 cents it's just fixed so as now as of now I usually recommend this so you are going to click uh, choose dynamic buys down only so that Amazon will not overspend your budget once you've done that you come to add format when you choose co custom text add add it means you are going to write text below your ad so that customers will be aware but I usually don't do that you are going to come to this section and then you are going to choose standard ads 
once you choose that you are going to come here and then give your ad set a name you can i usually put anything there you can put anything literally anything you can put anything there let me put something nice let me see blues lose weight okay you can put it that way then once you come here you are going to select the product you want to advertise so assuming my, the book that I talked about that how to lose weight assuming it is here I will just click on add and then it will come here so let me go ahead and click add so the product is here so the product is here and then we are going to come to this section they say keyword targeting and then product targeting so we already have our keywords this means that when you choose product targeting that means choose specific products categories brands and other product features to target you uh, that means you have to choose products that are related to your book so that when people search for such products your book will be shown but i don't want that we have keywords so we are going to use our keywords to target so now you come to this section and then the enter list so we are going to click on that then we have our keyboard our keywords on the clipboard so we are going to paste them here so we are going to paste as you can see all the keywords have come they are pasted in here as you can see fat loss cleans fat loss code fat loss cap banner a whole lot of them so we are going to choose our byte so we are going to click here you can use amazon suggested byte but first let me show you let once you place your keywords you are going to go ahead and add them so once you add them amazon this thing will pop up so we are going to choose a low byte so let's say 12 cent 12 cent so we are going to add keywords so 12 cent it is going to be the cost per click for all our keywords so if any of the keywords a customer click on search use one of these keywords and search search for search on amazon your product or your book will pop up so once they click you are going to pay you, you are going to pay 12 cents per click so now you are going to come here you can choose default byte you have already done that so let's go you can put you can put it this the same way okay 12 cent again you have done that already so there's no problem so custom byte you can also choose this one that means you are going to buy it for each of the keywords there are several keywords that you are too sure that when people click on it people search for it they will buy your book so you can choose custom so that you put uh, you can choose the cost per click very high soil for such keywords so once you've done that but i usually recommend choosing the default byte because you can predetermine the keyword that people will, will use to buy your product so use default byte so that you buy the same cost per click for all your product there's another one you can use suggested by that means amazon is going to determine the byte for your product this suggested byte that is where we had the 75 cents uh, cent. so they are going to determine the cost per click so i usually don't do that because that will, will result in big losses so let's now we have our keywords we have added our book now we are going to go ahead and then launch a campaign so that is it but 
the book that I've chosen is not even a weight loss book so I'm not going to launch the campaign so now let me show you how to make the profit using this low byte so once you've done that you have done everything you launch your uh, campaign with this low by 12 cent 10 cent you are not going to get much impression you are not going to but it is okay don't worry about impression worry about profit so once you've launched your 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 your, your campaign you are going to get in a small impression so you leave it for a week one week or more then uh, you de you can determine what happens so once you know uh, the keywords that are getting clicks uh, let me show you you launch your campaign as I recommend then let me go to back and show you okay I have a campaign on the UK market so I want to use that one too so you my this the profit strategy we are going to click here so right now they say create a campaign okay let me show you so we are going I'm going to show you the strategy that I'm I used to make profit as you can see I've spent 13 pounds and I made uh, 41 sales but let me show you we Amazon will uh, they will only tell you the sales when the product is shipped or your book is shipped to the, the customer so I advertise just some few just was it yesterday yeah so I have six clicks I don't know if it results in sales but usually the sales won't show so unless you use other platform to determine your sales but I don't do that uh, there are other software that can help you track all your sales on Amazon KDP but I don't do that uh, because even if you see it you can't withdraw so I wait for Amazon to do everything so once I'm going to use one campaign to show you so this campaign is that the one as uh, I advertised yesterday is making a AC cost uh, it is making it it is going up and up uh, because unless Amazon sent my product they will not list it as a, a sale so I'm not sure whether it, they are sales or not but I'm going to show you the ad that the strategy that I used to make this profit as you can see 12 cent and then the AC cost is 29 that's what I want to show you so as I told you earlier on you are going to list uh, your cost per click as low as possible so then you are, uh, once your campaign is running you can let it run for one, one week or more then you you click on this site so once you click on this uh, your campaign you are going to get something like this so on this by you are going to click you, 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 you are going to click on targeting once you click on targeting you are going to scroll down And then you are going to see all the keywords that uh, that you've gotten clicks and those that you've gotten sales as you can see this keyword I've gotten click but no so I've gotten click but no so so we are going to do that for all the keywords as you can see I've, I've gotten clicks but no sales for this keyword so this keyword is costing me it's costing me too much so you can come here and then switch it disable this keyword or you can come here 
and uh, lower the byte for that keyword so I'm going to lower it to 20 then save once I lower it as you can see so this is how you make profit you are, you are going to determine the keywords that get clicks but do not get orders you are going to lower it here and then what you do is that let me show you keyword that I've got in, that I've made a sale as you can see let me scroll down again up again there are certain keywords that are not performing a whole lot of them are not performing as you can see there are keywords so I don't have a sale on this particular keywords so right now we're going to get go to the next page the next page let's scroll down this keyword has gotten clicked but no so as you can see this keyword this keyword has gotten clicks and then it has gotten sales too so what you do is that you are going to use the suggested byte and you apply it here or I can come here and then increase the byte for this product this increase the byte for this keyword because it is likely going to make a sale then you are you're going to click on save so you are going to that is how you make profit on KDP advertising platform you, you look for keyword that makes that are, that makes sales you increase your byte and then keywords that do not make sales you decrease their byte but the first uh, the, when you are going to create an ad make sure you, you make you uh, make your cost per click as low as possible then once your ad run for some days you cannot determine which keywords are performing then you increase the byte for it so that you become number one on set terms so that you can get many sales so that is what I want to show you kindly like and subscribe to this channel so that it will reach other people to learn this method and I will keep on doing some research and I will help as I grow I will also make videos to help you grow too thank you for watching